Hey folks, Rachel here with your Monday morning marketing mojo. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. I tell you, summer has arrived here in Southeast Texas. I went to take the pups out this morning and it was like walking into a warm, wet sponge. So if you're one of my neighbors, get ready folks, it's gonna be a hot one. But anyway, uh, welcome to today's mojo. And today I wanna talk about a question that I received when I was speaking at the MarTech Houston conference just a few weeks ago. I was speaking with a lady who owns a staffing company that serves a particular industry. It's a, very, it's a niche staffing company that serves this particular industry. And she says, you know, I had talked about podcasting and video and she said, I see the benefit. What can I possibly say in this content that I'm going to create that hasn't already been said? And it's a really good question. It's probably one that you've asked yourself on occasion. It may be one that you're asking yourself right now or that one of your higher ups in your organization is asking you as you begin the conversation about starting a content marketing strategy. So first of all, let me put your mind at ease. The answer is, the bottom line answer is nothing. <laughs> okay, there really is nothing new under the sun. And if you don't believe me, Go to Amazon.com right now and look up any particular topic. Look up personal finances or relationships or career or starting a business. You will see hundreds, if not thousands, of books on that same topic. And if you were to read most of those books, most of them are saying kind of the same thing. There really is nothing new under the sun. So when you think about how you're going to distinguish yourself in your content, if it just get rid of that idea that we're going to have something groundbreaking every single week on this blog or in these videos or in this podcast, what you want to focus on and what's going to make you absolutely irresistible amidst all these people talking about the same stuff are two things. Number one, perspective. And number two, presentation. So let's talk about both of these. And I want to give you another example. A few months ago, I decided I was going to learn how to play the guitar. And actually, I'm going to be podcasting about this later this week. So if you want to hear more about that, check out the podcast. But as I started, I got my guitar, got all my setup done. I started looking online at teachers who I wanted to um, connect with to teach me guitar. And there are thousands of guitar teachers. Look on YouTube, do a Google search. You will find thousands of them. Now, if you think about it, the guitar is the guitar. Okay, it's got strings, it's got frets, um, it, there's some variations between acoustic and electrical, but basically the guitar is the guitar. And the way that you play the guitar is pretty basic. You use you know, this hand to, to move along the frets, to change the notes, and then you play different strings, and then you get into chords. It's, it's pretty basic. So there's no teacher out there that's going to show me a brand totally brand new way of approaching the guitar but what does distinguish those teachers are those two things i just talked about um what did i just <laughs> perspective and presentation so perspective each teacher has a different approach to teaching guitar for example someone might have you learn all the notes on the fretboard as your first assignment and some might have you playing chords before the end of your first lesson is one approach better than the other no just depends on what you're looking for so that's where perspective comes into play and then presentation each teacher has his or her own personality and it's a question of style whether I like one style better than another as, as a matter of fact I did find a teacher who resonated with me love that word resonance um, in terms of both his approach and his personality so think about that when you think about your content how am I going to distinguish myself through my perspective and through my presentation and if you really focus on those and create um, an approach that is really unique and that is really you and that is going to resonate with people, I promise you, you will build an audience 
through that content that you're putting out every single week. So that is it for today's mojo. And if you want to learn more about creating an irresistible mojo of your own that's going to help you build an audience, I recommend that you pick up your own copy of The Content Marketing Coach, Everything You Need to Get in the Game and Win. You can pick it up in both book and Kindle format. You can download a free chapter of your own, and you can also see what thought leaders like Joe Polizzi thought of the book. Spoiler alert, they liked it. Okay, I wish you a wonderful week, and we will see you again next Monday. Take care.